Hi. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back today. First of all, I would just like to thank you for being here, for taking the brave first step to come a couple weeks ago, and for taking another brave step in choosing to come back tonight for a second session, okay? I really appreciate it, and I think it's going to be helpful. It's going to hopefully help you realize, think a little deeper maybe about what's going on in your life, and maybe help to solve some problems that you're having. So, last week, or two weeks ago, our session focused mainly around questions, general questions around your daily life, how you are raised, just for me to get a deeper understanding of you as a person. And I think that background knowledge will help me to maybe understand your situation or your motivations around certain situations and maybe some conflicts, some struggles that you're having right now. And so that is what I would mainly like to talk about today. Is that all right with you? Okay, perfect. Awesome. So, um, maybe if we could start out, um, I'll be taking notes throughout the session so that I can refer to them later, or if you want to come back to anything that we can review what we discussed previously. So, let's start out by, if you could just give me a a general idea of the reason why you decided to come um, to seek counseling and why you think that it was necessary or why you think it would be beneficial. Okay? So, yeah, first just a little bit about what's going on right now in your head. Yes. Yeah in your life. Yep. It's completely, there's no boundaries. It's what you feel is the reason. Okay. Perfect. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. So you thought it would be good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. 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 Thank you for sharing that with me. So, I think that we're talking about um, a very complex and interesting subject we're talking about our relationships with others and especially our relationships with those in our family because those are, generally speaking, the people that we're closest to in our whole lives. So, these are very important relationships to us we hold, we place a lot of value on them, and when we have struggles in these relationships, it seems like very life or death, almost, because these relationships are so important to us, 
so I completely understand and I think I think it was a great decision that he made to come have a conversation with me about it and we're obviously not going to get to the bottom of everything today but I think today will be a great start in discussing the overall issues and where we need to start and hopefully I'll be able to give you a couple of good tips that you can take away and practice day to day until we meet again. Okay? So, yeah, these relationships are often a source of so much happiness, but also so much struggle at the same time. Because, like I mentioned, the, re- the relationships are so important, and we ride the roller coaster of these relationships through life and the highs are so high and the lows are really low so what we're gonna try and do is eliminate some of those lows or at least bring them up a little bit so they're not so intense and there are a number of things you can practice and ways that you can approach situations that will help to do that. Okay, so we'll get to the ones that you're going to need for your specific situation. All right. Okay, perfect. So, um, you said there's particular family members that are the source of a lot of these struggles. Okay, so maybe just start by telling me a little bit about them um, and a little bit about your relationship with them. So let's talk about um, how close you are in relation to um, other family members that you may have or friends. How close are you? Um, How often do you see them? Where do they live? Uh, Maybe with you, maybe not. And what has your relationship been like with them over, over time? So right now it may be rocky, but what has it been like in the past? Okay, so let's start off with who they are, how close you are with them, okay? Okay. And how old is she? Mm-hmm. And what's her relation to you? Okay, perfect. Um, and how often do you see her? Okay. So quite often. Um, but she doesn't live with you, you said. Okay. How far away does she live? Okay, that's good. Alright. And... What has your relationship with her been like in the past? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it's potentially to do with age for sure. Okay. And another thing is that you may want to consider, potentially, um, if you're both aware of the issue and you both want to work towards a better relationship, then we could talk all together, maybe, one day. 
um, after we work through things on your side of the story. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, I'll also ask you what are her relationships like with the rest of the family? Um, is there anyone else that she doesn't get along with or for you um, that you don't get along with or that, you know, what are the differences in the relationships with others for the two of you? Mm-hmm. All right, that makes sense. Okay. So, I'll ask you a few questions now, if you don't mind, about your general relationships with your family and um, what your family dynamic is like. So, we'll get a sense of how the two of you would interact on a daily basis. In the past, I understand that you're not living together now, but um, we'll see what, how you generally interact with those in your family. So, um, I guess a good one to start out with is um what's it like for you right now in your family mm -hmm. i know it's a very general question but we start general and we get more specific from there mm -hmm. perfect that sounds good Okay. Perfect. All right. Um, you feel safe in your family. Good. Okay. Um, how does your family normally handle disagreements? Yeah, I think that's common for sure. And is it okay to express emotions in your family? To feel happy, sad, frustrated, angry, content, etc. Okay. And that's always been the case. Okay, perfect. That's good. Okay. Is your family, do you find, mix well with other families? Do you have many family friends? Good. Perfect. Okay, good. All right. Um, so I'd also like to point out here that the situation that you've described to me, kind of the struggles that you're experiencing right now, are very common and very normal. So, I just want to reassure you that you're normal, 
these are things that plenty of families go through and this is not to um, make light of the situation whatsoever but I just want to reassure you that it's something that plenty of people go through you're not alone in this and um, you are in a situation that is easily overcomable Overcomable. Um, and I don't want you to feel worried or like this is going to go on forever there's no solution or definitely not that there's something wrong with you or that there's something wrong with the other person or something wrong with your family because that is not the case at all okay so just remember that this is very common um a lot of it like i said it may have to do with age um there are a number of factors that are at play and we'll get deeper into those and get to the root of what's causing it for you okay because every situation is different every person and every relationship is different so we need to see what causes yours and how we can fix yours and in order to do that we need to get really quite deep into what is your personality how do you react to situations we're gonna have to try and bring the other person's perspective into this and talk about and try and figure out what is their personality type how does she react to situations okay mm-hmm. okay so to do this, I think that one really helpful exercise is for us to talk about what we know about the other person. So to do that, I will probe you with a few questions and I would like for you to try to answer them from the other person's perspective. So it will be questions Um, about the other person and see if you can answer you know what you think they would say how you think they would respond to that question about themselves and there's no wrong answer or right answer but this will hopefully be an exercise for you in determining how well you actually do know this other person Um, And then we can go from there to see how much we need to work on understanding the other point of view, if you already have a really good hold on this, or if that's something we need to work on in the weeks to come, okay? So the questions might seem a little bit silly or like they're not important, but the fact of the matter is this is a family member that we're talking about and so we want to see if these common quite common questions um can be answered by you if you understand this person as well as you think okay so don't let the questions overwhelm you this is just an exercise for you to see your level of understanding from another person's point of view okay perfect all right so um i'll start off with a couple questions here um describe yourself in three words so remember we're not talking about you but we are talking about this other person that you're having the conflict with right now so describe her in three words or how she would describe herself okay Mm -hmm. all right 
So, how did you find that difficult? Quite easy? You think you know how she would describe herself? Okay, that one's quite easy. Um, let's go to another one. Let's see. What is your favorite season and why? So, what is her favorite season? Mm-hmm. why do you think that is? Okay. Okay. Well, you seem to know that one quite well. That's a good sign. Um, let's do another one. What cheers her up when she's feeling sad? Yeah. So you know that one too. That's amazing. So you're doing really well and it's okay to not know some. You don't have to know everything about someone, but if you don't, that should be a kind of an eye-opener that there are things we don't know about this person and so we can't always assume their side of the story and we can't assume we know why they're acting the way that they're acting. Right. Alright, let's just do a couple more. Um, how about what makes you feel loved? So what makes her feel loved? Yeah. That would make me feel loved for sure. That's a great answer. Alright, let's just do one more. You seem like you know her quite well. Um, what are you most proud of? So what is she the most proud of of everything in life? That's great. Well, I feel like that's a great start. Okay? And you seem like you know her really well, but I think this is a good time for us to end our session and your homework that I'll give you will be to try and notice these little things when you see this person. Think about what they do, how they act, what motivates them, and what is their personality? And by trying to understand who they are a little bit better, you might be able to see things from their perspective a bit easier. Okay? So we'll talk a little bit more about this when you come back next time. And I just want to say thank you so much again for taking this leap, coming in here to talk about this. I genuinely hope that we'll be able to get to the root of some of these problems. We'll be able to solve some of these problems through our sessions together. Okay? So thanks again for coming in. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you really soon in our next session.